everybody, this is V.Finlay17, and this is a affordable lip scrub review. I have tested all of these lip scrubs, so um, let's get into this. Now, one of the more um, expensive ones you're going to see is the L'Oreal Paris Pure Sugar Scrub Exfoliant Secure Pure. <laughs> This is the Kiwi one. This is for face and lips right there. It's going to smooth on to skin with dry fingers, avoiding eyes, massaging to face and lips with wet fingers used for three weeks. I did use this for three weeks. I used it on my lips um, and I did not use it on my face all, every time, but I did my lips. This does last a bit. Um, all these are used because I tested them, but it smells amazing, you guys. There's little kiwi seeds in it. The texture is definitely there. You can see the little sugar crystals. Um, it smells really good. It does have a warming sensation. It's nice. Um, I would say it's not bad. I did pay... Um, $12.99 for this entire container. Sorry, my hands are going to get kind of mucky during the video. But I did pay $12.99 for this container. And I would say it's worth it. If you're using it for your lips, it's going to last forever. If you're using it for your whole face, it will last the three weeks, depending on how much you use or longer. <laughs> so if you are more into something that has more than just one use, here you go. The next one is the Wet n Wild Pac-Man one. This was, I believe I paid $4.99 at my local Walgreens. It does come in a cute little apple. Um, it just talks about it right there. There are 0 0.26 ounces in this one. And in this one, it is 1.7 ounces. You're going to see my hand up close while I open it. So this is a... I, I used this one just this morning. This one is a very thick... Come on, focus. Sugary consistency. And it smells like candy. Um, this one is definitely sugarier. It does leave more of a um, residue on the lips when you're rinsing it. So you definitely do feel the nutrients being left behind from this one. When you're done rinsing and you go to you know blot your lips away before you apply a lip mask or a lip balm. Oops, I'll deal with closing it later. So what I normally do when I use these is I will apply to the lips, rub vigorously for, you know, 30 seconds to a minute, depends on how bad my lips are. I will let it sit then for another minute, and then I will rinse away, blot my lips, and then I will apply a lip mask, let that sit for its time, and then I will apply lip balm. The next one we're going to talk about is the Revlon Kiss. This is the exfoliating balm. This one is the Sugar Mint. It is 0 0.09 ounce. This one, um, this is more of a light exfoliant. This is not a real, like, heavy exfoliant. It's more balm than anything. It's very, very light. Um, it's almost like a very fine sugar. You can see it there. It's a very fine sugar with a balm. Um, this is for if you just have lightly dry lips or you don't want anything too abrasive. This one's definitely abrasive and this one as well. But it works good. This one came in a pack with a lip balm. A colored lip balm. I guess you'd call it like a lip tint more or less. And it came in the pack with that. So there was two items that you received. This I was sent for review from uh, Bees Agent. So I did not buy this one. This one was sent as a review. Then we have the LA Colors Lip Scrub. This I bought at the local Dollar Tree just to see what Dollar Tree had going on. As you can tell, it is grimy looking. Um, but it does have um, a medium 
I guess you'd say medium consistency. It will it will do its trick for a dollar. Um, I tend to not like these tube ones very much because they do seem to break real easy. Um, it does have a little color. It does not stain the lips, so there is the consistency. This one was supposed to be a berry, I think. Or some, something like that. Yeah, berry punch. That one is a good, uh, cheap alternative. This one was a vendor. I'm trying to remember the vendor. I think this one was... Oh, I can't remember the vendor. Oh, my gosh. But this was a vendor one that was sent to me from a friend. This one is very abrasive. Um... This is just pretty much sugar with a little oil in it and a uh, cotton candy flavoring. It did have pink and blue in it. Um, this is pretty much no different than taking maybe some coconut oil and a little bit of sugar out of your sugar dispenser and rubbing it on your lips. That's really all that is. Um, I, I wanted to put it in because it was one I tried for two weeks. This one tore my lips up. Um, it's very chunky, like it tore my lips up, like no joke. So these and this, I remember was like, I don't know, I think it was $2 from the vendor. I can't remember the name of the company. It was like Live in Love or something like that. <laughs> but yes, this is some affordable lip products that you can find at anywhere. Most vendors carry this, but these are the drugstore ones you can find pretty much anywhere you're looking. So I wanted to show you guys that. I hope this was a good little pointer. If I find any more, I will be um, putting up some more. As you guys will see, my content will be slowly changing to other stuff. I do have um, another video be coming up soon on another review from Beauty Garard or Garde Garard I don't know but it is a oil-free lash and brow shampoo that I had been sent to review as well um and we will be talking about that I hope everyone has a great time please check these products out when you're at your local stores um they they actually work pretty good and they are cost effective bye